Hello everyone, I just want to thank you for watching this video. It's Bullet Shower once again. You guys have probably noticed that my P some of my PSP videos have been deleted off my YouTube channel. Reason being is because they weren't eligible for the YouTube Partnership Program, and that's my dream on YouTube is to make the YouTube Partnership Program. So, that's why I erased them. Anyway, today we are. I'm going to show you how to put a logo or watermark on your video. This has been a fairly asked question on my comments and personal messages so let's get started guys I will be using Camtasia Studio today I will show you how to do it in Sony Vegas as well um, go to the add tab and pick, click import media and find the video you want to put your logo on and then right click and put add to timeline once you've uh, edited it to your uh, likings and you have choose the preset that you want to use go to produce tab and go to produce video as it will pop up with the presets again, but you want to click the drop down menu and go to add slash edit preset and choose the one you're most comfortable with or the one that you're going to use and click edit and then click next until you see the watermark tab right here and click include watermark and then click options once you're done. Now once this watermark window is open, click the folder to find your watermark. Mine's in my images and mine's right here. Now you can do a bunch of things in this window. You can choose the, uh, the emboss effect which won't work on my image because it's a, uh, a PNG I think it is but um, you can change the opacity down. See how I turn it and it goes away and I turn it up it goes back. I've changed my opacity in Photoshop the image opacity so I tend to leave it at 100%. The image scale I'd recommend uh, 15 um, and I would also recommend to keep the aspect ratio of the image because if I don't then it, it just goes all wonky and I'll show you what happens in the preview box here if you don't keep the aspect ratio the, see the uh, the picture kinda gets distorted and it just doesn't look very good so keep it at 15 around 15 um, I wouldn't click preserve image size because it depends on how big the pixels are of the image. See if I click preserve image size then it'll go back to giant and if I unclick it it'll go back to the one I scaled it down to so I'd recommend using scaling. I'd also recommend using s use smooth scaling because it just makes it a lot better. Um, you can use the horizontal and vertical offset to change your video like the logo where the excuse me whew, the logo location on the video I tend to go to 9 and 9 it just looks better that way. Uh, you can also change it using the position buttons here, but again, it looks more professional if you put it in the bottom right hand corner. Alright, once you put the watermark on there, just click finish, and then click close, and then click the preset that you've saved the watermark to, click next, uh, name your video, whatever you want, so I'm just going to name it video, and then click the destination of the folder right here, mine's going to be my desktop, and click next and then click finish it will start rendering your project but I will I'm gonna skip rendering the project and you're probably wondering why you wanna put a watermark or logo on your video it's because it's yours right you you wanna protect your video content so if someone steals your video then you can send a complaint to YouTube and they will take the person who stole your video off and they will delete their account I've done it once with a user, so he stole my video, and that's just why you want to add them now to your videos. Anyway guys, I hope this really helped you, and I will be doing one on Sony Vegas, and I will be seeing you guys later.